Hi friend, in this Kinter window, we are displaying 10 records by default uh, by taking it from our student table in MySQL database. Now you can, we have a vertical scroll bar also because we can scroll to any records and uh, select a record or I can go back and scroll to other point and select some other record also. This vertical uh, scroll bar is used to navigate across the rows. Similarly, another application here it is. Here we are, uh, we have a horizontal scroll bar here. Now it's the same thing without a less width we are displaying. Now I can expand the name column also. I can expand it. Now again, I, this horizontal scroll bar I am expanding and using it to expand others. Now again, I am mark then again i am going for the other column everything i am expanding now using the horizontal scroll bar i can scroll horizontally also and navigate among the different different columns uh, whatever we are uh, displayed in our tree view now this way i can place both the horizontal and the vertical you can see the vertical one is here so we'll learn how to add these scroll bars We'll start from here. This is the blank template here and we are connecting to our MySQL database by using this. You can see up this line here the user ID password and uh, we are creating the variable. So this uh, SQL Alchemy library we are importing then above that we are also importing TTK because it's a tree view what you are going to use it. Then this is the dimension of the window and here our parent window we are declaring at my underscore w. In this, actually in the previous tutorial, we have discussed in detail how we will retrieve our records and display it in a tree view. That link is here. You can just read that. I am pasting the same code again here. So these are the few lines of code I have pasted starting from here. You can see this uh, just executed the query, then pick up the, all the list of column headers because dynamically our tree view must have the column header. So once we change the query, automatically the tree view headers also should change. So that is the purpose we have picked up. Then in that next, we have added the tree view here in this line. And then we have gone back <coughs> and configured our column and headings based on whatever the headings we have or the column headers we received and the column width also we have set it. Then here we have inserted our rows here. So we have inserted the rows taking the one by one row from the MySQL. The entire uh, tutorial is there and to this we will add our scroll bar. But before that let us just see how this looks. Here it is. You can see this this tree view is entirely this is uh, taken data from 10 records we have taken and these are the column headers dynamically created we have all discussed about that and one thing I will just show you here is here in this what you will do will not put any restriction here. Here you just see here that we have set select 10 records starting from 0th record 10 record or the first to 10. Now this part will remove what will happen that means around 35 plus records are there. So all the records will be collected. Now let's just run this once again now. And you can see that okay the starting from there but I can scroll down also. Now you see I have I am going below the beyond the 10 records. So I am able to scroll down. To this here we will add the, our vertical scroll bar then we will move to our horizontal scroll bar also. So that way we can navigate between the different different records. We'll add the vertical scroll bar. So we'll say VS or vertical score bar, uh, scroll bar, TTK because scroll bar is a part of TTK. So we are given that already we have imported because we are using tree view at the top. You can see the first line we have imported our TTK library. So that we are using and uh, tree view is a part of TTK. So already we are using that. Now I am saying scroll bar. What's my parent window is my underscore W at the top. We have declared it here at the top come down to line number six you can see it is there so then we'll say orient how it should be orient orient is vertical we are saying vertical orientation then the important part is command so what where it will be connected or the command is trv trv is our tree view that object then in that we are connecting to y view or the vertical view horizontal view is x view so that's all now this is scroll bar is connected but our tree view should pass the data so tree, bar, tree view should be configured also when i am sliding it that should be so tree view or trv what you have used now configure 
now here configure now here we will say y scroll command y scroll command is equal to vs dot get so get the way sorry vs not get set so what you get it from there we are we will setting the trb tribute uh, y scroll so that's what we have done now now let's place our scroll bar in grid so vertical scroll bar in the grid so we are saying row equal to 1 is in parallel in the same row as our tree view at the top you can see tree view where it is here it is you can see the tree view is row 1 and column is 1 so that in the same row we are placing the grid row uh, is equal to 1 and column equal to 2 because it is the right of it now stick what should it should stick to just stick to in the north south occupy the entire space between vertically so we are saying north and south that's all now this should display our vertical scroll bar let's just run it and see how it is so i think um, background to this are okay sql something wrong with our uh, root test my tutorial i think we are not running our uh, our uh, mysql to your database we are running our server now let's just run it uh, again here it is the output and you can see the scroll bar vertical scroll bar here i can navigate to any page i can select it and this scroll bar will accordingly also will reflect it you can see i am using the my arrow keys and moving it and the scroll bar is moving or i can use directly the scroll bar now we'll go for horizontal scroll bar to add the horizontal scroll bar will reduce the width of it so we'll squeeze it so we can uh, horizontal scroll bar you can use it so this width i have reduced to 20 and one more option i will put it here i'll write stretch S sorry stretch equal to false so this option now i'll come back here so I have reduced the width. So now I have to uh, use the horizontal scroll bar to move uh, horizontally. So now I have copied this vertical scroll bar code and pasting it here. So now I will change this. So here I will write HS or horizontal scroll bar TTK orient is horizontal. Horizontal I have orientation and this command it is Y view. Now this will be X view. So tree B it is connected here. Now let's come to the next line TRB configure Y scroll command. This I will delete and put it X scroll command. And this is here HS our connecting to horizontal scroll bar. Now that's uh, next line on the grid. This is horizontal scroll bar row equal to 1. No, row has to be 2 because it is it has to be below the tree view. And column is 1 because tree view, whatever tree view is, tree view is row 1, column 1. So, this will be row 2, column 1. And stick option will put it as not north south, it will be east west. So, whatever the uh, horizontally the space available, it, it will occupy the entire space. Now, let us run this and see how this works. Here it is. You can see the scroll bar. Now, what I will do, I will extend the name part. You see the scroll bar appearing there. Now, I will use the scroll bar to move. Now, the this also I will extend. Now, again I will move. So, yes, here the mark column I am extending. Now, I will give here the gender also I will do that. So, gender also I have extended. Now, using the this key uh, horizontal scroll bar i can move to any column so th within this much space i have uh, it displayed the records and this balance space can i can use it for other purposes now it's still vertical scroll bar also i can use that's all friend this will be carrying forward and using this to display various queries where multiple records will be displayed say 100 records are there so we, we have a narrow window of say 10 records to display there we will deploy it in our next tutorial so we can practice our queries using the tree views so that is the main purpose we have, uh, we have studied this part and uh, i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and please do watch our next on the retrieving records and displaying on the tree view please share this with your friends and thank you for watching